Hello guys, this is Gregor Bearclaw back with another video. So, uh, to so I started recording video. I actually recorded my first video one year ago. And to hmm, just forgot what I was gonna say. To show you guys all my knives, I have bought. Well, bought and given in the past couple years is first of all. My uh, Uncle Henry, one seven one seven one one seven one UH. Totally forgot that. Next up is my Browning. I've already showed you guys a video on that on my Browning and my Uncle Henry. Then we have here. My tree line. I'm not quite sure if you guys have seen the review on this one or not. Or if I have just completely forgot to post it. I've actually done that before. Same guys. It's been sitting in a drawer and it's been collecting dust and dirt got down in there. Dirt will dull your blade. But there's my tree line. Oh. Eight inches. Black wood, brass, a lanyard thing, brass pins going here and here, 8 inches. Guys have hopefully already seen the video, and if you guys haven't, then I shall have to show you guys. Not show you guys, I'll have to, uh, you guys will have to go watch it. <clears throat> now, then here's my SOG. I'm not quite sure if I've even done a review on this one or not. But it's SOG, it's a, you can tell, it's the name has been stamped here, SOG, it's 8 inches, it is the SOG, oh, it's fade, it's faded, uh, SOG, Fold Pub 1, and I actually, uh oh, huh, looks like a bit of rusting has happened, oopsies, All right, sorry, got distracted again. So uh, this is a SOG Fold Pub 1. I have went to, I went on Amazon and the actual website of SOG, and they do not sell this knife anymore. All they sell is the Pub 2. It's tactical black blade, tactical black handle. This is a, oh. The dog was trying to gnaw on it. That's weird. Don't know when the dog got a hold of it. But, yeah, so they actually do not sell the pub one anymore. So I have one of the only last sold pubs. They only sell the pub two, and that's $70 for the tactical black blade. Um, I believe this is made in America. So my two other knives I showed... So is my Uncle Henry and ones. Then I have my dreaded uh, M Tech. It says M Tech USA, but this knife is not made in the US. I've actually not done a video on my M Tech. And here it says handcrafted China. But it's US steel. It's a it is a some sort of a Okay. It says MT slash twenty slash thirty five. I guess that's the kind of metal it uses. When you guys buy this knife You'll get a string. I've actually lost my string. Took it off because it was getting in the way. Oh, also, this knife, i got to say, is a... Pardon for what I'm about to say, but appalling, crappy, terrible. My opinion, once again, uh, this was like seven bucks. The blade does not sharpen. This is... A nylon 
Not bad. I've had worse sheath than this. Uh, then there's this one, the Tactical. That is literally the name. It's a 12 inch knife. 12 inch knife with the curved, with the, uh, with the fat belly. And the spine, now the spine stays straight. There's these saw teeth. Now the saw teeth, matter of fact, I just got to try this. Yeah, no. These do not cut. They're mainly there for show. But, yeah. Uh, this actually has a molded fit handle. Brass pins, a glass breaker. Um, it comes with a, uh, I think it's called a lanyard. No, I'm not sure it's for it. You're supposed to stick your wrist through to hold it, so if you're go swinging it, you don't, it doesn't go flying off its own. And actually, my Uncle Henry, my 9.8 inch knife, weighs more than this, but this is a 12 inch knife from end to end. And this is a full tang knife because it goes, the blade goes all along there. Comes in a nylon sheath and a Velcro. Of all things, a Velcro thing to hold a knife in. Crap. Utterly crappy. I made myself a leather one. It would work, but not with this knife. So see, I do this, and it can literally, literally just come straight out. It's already ripping. So this year, sometime this year, I got to build this one a better sheath, or at least put a a snap, a snap one on here. Okay, so from largest to smallest, we have my uh, tactical. And we have the Uncle Henry. And we have the Browning. Um, then we have the Sog. We have the Tree Line. Then we have the Emtec. These are all yeah, they're all beautiful knives. Except for that one. That one's not beautiful. But yep. Yeah, those are all the knives I have. I have bought this one, this one, this one, and that one. This one was given to me. This one I found. Forgot where I found it, but I originally did not own this. I literally just found this somewhere. I forgot where I found it. But yeah, these right here are all 8 inch. That's a 9 inch. 9.8, 12. Okay, so. Okay, so. I think that is it for now. Oh. Oh. One more thing I got to tell you guys. I don't think I told you guys in any of my other knife review videos. I like to name my weapons. So, this one is Beast. This one is Brownie. I forgot what the I named this one. Um, I think I named this one Handsome or something. This one is Trash. Oh, I have never, never once in my life hated a knife. But this one right here allowed me to know what it is to hate a knife. It's a beautiful knife, but it's the blade. God do something about the blade. And I shall in the future sometime. Okay, so I think that is it for now. So I guess that's it. God is awesome. Have a wonderful day, guys.